Okay, welcome to the fourth video on the EasySense product, uh, in which I will explain to you all the details of the parameters in the EasySense. And I will be using the IR version of the app to demonstrate all the parameters of the EasySense product. First of all, I will explain to you the quick light level settings, uh, which you find here on the screen. And you can see actually that we have three light levels that we can change. Uh, so the third one here is the background level. That is actually the light level that is attained after a long period of time when there is no user anymore, the lights will dim to this background level of, in this case, 53%. And then I have the eco on level that I can set, for instance, to 65% now here in this video. That is really the on level of the fixture. So when a user enters into the room, automatically the lights will go to this value of 65%. And then the task level, the field task level, if it is set to a higher value than the eco on level, then actually the user can use the button press on the, on the switch to dim up the lights, to make a, make a manual override, and to bring the brightness from the automatic 65% level to the 100% level of this task level. Okay, so these are the uh, light level settings uh, that we can program uh, on the EasySense. And we will now go back into a more detailed uh, configuration uh, parameter list uh, of the EasySense. As you can see here on the screen, <coughs> I have a couple of parameters that I will walk through with you uh, to explain how further the EasySense can be programmed. But let's first bring up um, this hold time again, <coughs> or uh, this hold time uh, uh, of the EasySense. For instance, when I want to change it from a standard value of 15 minutes, to a longer value, for instance, for a person that is not moving really a lot, I want to set the whole time to, for instance, a 49.5 minute value. What I will do is I will confirm that I am going to program the EasySense and I will write a profile name, uh, say uh, Chicago, uh, and I will uh, also do a location name, say this is room number A, uh, and I say, okay, I'm programming now the EasySense, for instance, an entire group I can write this profile now to this entire group. And I say yes. And if I now go to um, the profiles here on my app, you can see that I've just created a new profile name uh, in room A. So if I now will want to change any further detailed settings in this room, I will go into edit, press the little pencil over here, and I will see that more parameters can be changed up on this uh, whole time of 49.5 minutes, which have just been programmed into the easy senses. So that's an easy way to keep track of all the parameters that you change in the group uh, by uh, writing these profiles. Okay, so if I go back uh, into uh, the programming parameters, into configuration, then I see the first three parameters that I can adjust are actually tick boxes where I, for instance, would want to disable occupancy control. So for instance, I will be using the EasySense only for a daylight uh, saving mechanism, or maybe I want to get rid of the daylight saving, or maybe I want to get rid of the LED indicator. I can just tick boxes <coughs> and I can program them to the EasySense. The next uh, three uh, items that I want to explain is the occupancy mode. And the occupancy mode is automatically set to auto on or auto off. The default value is auto on or auto off, which means that if I enter to the room, lights will automatically switch to on, and if I leave the room, the lights will automatically switch to off. That is the um, default value of the product. Uh, then you, all can see, you, you can also see that there is a manual on or manual off setting in which only the user can give input, so only when he presses the switch, the lights will go on, and when he leaves the room, he needs to press the switch to bring the lights to off. And then uh, we have the third mode, which I have here on my screen. And that third mode is actually a mixture of these two, uh, manual on and automatic off. And that's actually a vacancy detection mode, or the famous Title 24 use case, where automatically the lights will go to off when the user leaves the room. But when the user enters the room, he needs to press the switch to switch the lights to on. So that's this famous Title 24 use case. Right, then we have three levels that I have already explained to you. Those are the uh, light level settings, that the task level and the eco on level and the background level. 
And then I have to explain three time parameters that I already introduced in earlier videos. So the whole time is the time uh, up until the person not moving anymore, the lights will still remain in the on level. Uh, so if I program that to a long time, there will be not enough, uh, not, not uh, only a little amount of movement needed to keep the lights to on. Then the prolonged time I already ex introduced in the second video where we can make this famous use case of the uh, stairwell to say that never the lights should switch to off. <coughs> and then switching off can be controlled by grace fading. I can do that fast or I can do that slow. All right, so that brings me to the conclusion of this uh, video here. I think I've shown to you all the parameters that can be programmed in the easy sense and how easy it can be done by using the Philips field app in the smartphone. Thank you very much.